just a robot. Hey guys. <coughs> My computer virus came back. So yes, I am sick, and I am gonna sound a little bit weird in this video. My processors are all stuffed up. As you guys know, I talk about a lot of stupid videos on my channel, but this video is by far the worst. A group of people want to restart science. Why do they want to restart science? Well, let's watch the video and find out. So, um, can you know, I respond to your submissions because I wanted to direct, directly respond. I was actually thinking about this coming here because I thought that it was going to be one of the, the, the coming questions. How do we even start to decolonize science because science is true because it is science. Well, science isn't true just because it's science. Science is the process of understanding the world around us. Many things scientists say are actually false, and other scientists try to disprove it. Scientists write down how they came to their conclusion and what tests they used. And other scientists, or even sometimes other people, can follow their test and see if they come to the same conclusion. Now granted, there are some people who believe scientists just because they're scientists, but skeptical people can look at a scientist's research and test it out themselves. Armored Skeptic did a recent video on how scientific tests can be false because they miss very important variables. If you want to see it, link will be down below. I highly recommend you watch it. And, you know, what can you do? And my, my response to that was, if I personally were committed to enforcing decolonization, science as a whole is a product of Western modernity. Okay, I don't exactly know what she means by this statement, because science is a very broad term. But something you should know is that the Western world was against science, mainly because it was very Christian and Catholic. Science was actually used to prove God. But over time, many people who use science stopped believing in God. Something very interesting is that a Catholic man actually came up with the Big Bang Theory. Not that Big Bang Theory, the other one! And the whole thing should be scratched off. <laughs> Are you serious? You want to restart science? You're completely insane. First of all, you'll never be able to accomplish that. And second, if you did accomplish that, you'll just send us back several years. Science is always changing. We're always discovering new things. But restarting it is completely insane. One, if we want practical solutions to how to decolonize science, we'd have to restart science from, I don't know, an African perspective, from our perspective of how we've experienced science. Why should it be seen through an African perspective? Science used to be seen through a Christian perspective, but now it's seen through a skeptical perspective. Seriously, what makes your perspective the best one? For instance, um, I had a question for all the science people. <laughs> really? Did you just say science people? It's, uh, there's uh, a place uh, in Kezer, in Mkabialingana, and they believe that... Through uh, the magic, the black magic, you call it black magic, they call it- When you say black magic, do you mean evil magic or magic black people use? Which comes others that you are able to send a lightning to strike someone. So can you explain that scientifically? Yes, science can actually explain that. The reason why people believe in that stuff is because they're idiots. Now, if you are one of these idiots, and you think you can do that, and you want science to explain how you can do that, well, the answer is simple. You can't do that. James Randi has a $1 million reward for anyone who can prove anything supernatural. If you really can do this kind of stuff, then don't you want $1 million? Because it's something that happens. The guy who said it's not true is my hero. By the way, pay attention to this guy right here. Watch the way he reacts. <laughs> oh my god, you think magic isn't real? You're a freaking idiot! <laughs> Um, I need to address you directly. When we started this, we, ag we agreed on certain house rules. So they put the whole thing on hold just to address this one guy. 
Now, I will admit, him interrupting was rude, but he did it for, like, a second. He wasn't saying the same thing over and over, like some people. <laughs> And by you doing that, you're disrespecting the sacredness of the space. So it's not a safe space, it's a sacred space. My god, these people are the new level of social justice warriors. Please apologize Sorry. to the panel directly. So she asked him to apologize, and he did. But later in the video, she asked him to apologize again. So I would like you to first apologize I really hate it when people do that. Because it's gonna be very problematic. Did you just say problematic? My god, this video is full of SJW lingo. So I will finish. See, that very response is the reason why I am not in the science faculty. I did science throughout my high school years, and there was a lot of things that I just, um, yeah, but it's fine. Okay, I think you were going to say that there was a lot of things that you couldn't understand. Now, just because you couldn't understand them doesn't mean they're false. But Western modernity is the direct antagonistic factor to decolonization because Western knowledge is totalizing. There's no such thing as Western science. There's just science. And science is not totalizing. Science is true, and black magic isn't. Science doesn't care if you're from America, Africa, or Asia. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, male, female, gay, or straight. The only thing that matters in science is if your ideas are true or not. It is saying that it was Newton and only Newton who knew or saw an apple falling and then out of nowhere decided that gravity existed and created a, an equation and that is it. For the re whether people knew Newton or not or whether whatever happens in Western Africa, Northern Africa, the thing is the only way to explain gravity is through Newton who sat under a tree and saw an apple fall. This really shows your understanding of science. The whole thing about an apple falling on Newton's head, that's just a story. So Western modernity is the problem that decolonization directly deals with to say that we are going to decolonize by having knowledge that is produced by us, that speaks to us, and that is able to accommodate knowledge from our perspective. That sounds exactly like unlearning. By the way, I have to ask, why is your perspective the right perspective? So if you're saying that you disagree with her approach, it means that you are vested in the Western and Eurocentric way of understanding, which means you yourself still need to go back internally, decolonize your mind. This is a cult. There is no way getting around it. This is a cult. So if anyone disagrees with you, they need to be brainwashed. You're insane. Come back and say, how can I re-look at what I've been studying all these years? Because Western knowledge is very pathetic to say the least. Western knowledge is very pathetic to say the least. Western knowledge pretty much invents everything. Japan wouldn't be where it is without Western knowledge. If Western knowledge is pathetic, then what does that say about your knowledge? I, from a decolonized perspective, believe we can do more as new knowledge producers, as people who are given the ability to reason or whatever uh, is that people say we do when we think or rationalize. Okay, I'm having a very hard time understanding what you're saying. For one thing, your accent is very thick, and the camera is not very good. But it sounds to me like you're saying that whatever people see is true. But you need to understand that things are way more complicated than that. So, decolonizing the science would mean doing away with it entirely and starting all over again to deal with how we respond to the environment and how we understand it. Thank you. This is one of the single most stupid videos I have ever seen. One of the worst things about this video is it can be used by white supremacists as ammo. Many white supremacists will point to this video and say, Ha ha! Look how stupid niggers are! To anyone watching this video, please remember, don't judge people by their skin color. Judge them by the contents of their brain. My eyes.
have seen the glory of the cleansing of YouTube, debunking SJWs and feminazis too. We criticize reactionists in hopes they get the boot. Just the robot marches on.